Nation. When Behind the Ministry returns, joining Clerk International, the Freedom Experience, and the Future of Life in the Now, all coming up after this. Marco's Pizza, a food sponsor for Life in the Now TV, authentic Italian pizza. Marco's Pizza now has two locations to serve you in Tallahassee, 209 North Magnolia Drive and 6668 Thomasville Road. Marco's Pizza, authentic Italian pizza. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies are named Tom, Frank, and John. But Marco's Pizza has a founder named Pasquale, who was actually born in Italy. Marco's Authentic Italian Pizza. Now back to Behind the Ministry. I kind of met uh, Pastor Greg James and he was telling me about uh, the fellowship that was uh, actually starting here in, in our area and he was telling me a little bit about uh, what they were going to be doing and because I was already volunteering at the prison uh, I thought that this was a great way for me to learn a lot more to join forces together because they they have a great prison reform program that they they've started and that that, um, Bishop Bloomer, I, I feel like that's um, one of his hearts because, you know, he has a great testimony about um, being incarcerated and um, being released and how God has truly changed his life. And he is truly um, a blessing to many people worldwide. I can care less what you heard. I can care less where you think your money is. I can care less where you think you get your information from. I know you heard it all. a part of a brand new fellowship having a covering for our ministry that supports what we do prison ministry moving forward being in the now this has been amazing it is something when you get in the flow of God when you're obedient and you just allow God to move in your life I'm still learning so don't think I have it down pat but I'm willing to walk it out every step 
of the way. But you know what? When there's purpose and it's about destiny, you have to go, even if you have to be the only one. But that was the best decision that I ever could have made because um, I, I've learned a whole lot, you know, from Overseer James and um, Bishop Bloomer. So I look forward to really taking this thing, this, this prison re-entry reform to another level. wanted to just pull some people together. So I pulled the community together to just uh, have um, something that, that really is designed to celebrate the men and women who went in prison, who did their time, and who are really trying to make uh, strides to uh, be a better woman, a better man, for their children, for their families. And um, they know the things that they've done wrong. We don't have to tell them that. We we know, we all know, but they paid their debt to society. And I believe that God has forgiven them and we should forgive them and we should help them to uh, do the best that they can because it's hard coming from there back into the world because you, you, you're being rejected. And you, uh, everybody's looking at you a certain way. It's hard for you to find a job. So, you know, th that opens the door for them to return back to prison. So if we can stop the return back to prison, we can have a much better society. We can have a much lower crime rate, I believe. The purpose of the Freedom Experience is to bring an awareness to successful reentry and to help out in any way that we can in the transition process, going from being an inmate to a successful citizen. God is a project person. I love it too, because it's always something new. So enter now the freedom experience. All I know is we got a few months to put it together. We got to bring people together. We're talking about reentry. We got uh, community leaders. We got former, uh, uh, inmates we got all types of people we got pastors ministers a part of this and it's one forum one place to talk about successful re-entry and we do this video man that really touches the heart of the people and shows them the struggle and how much it is needed our support is so needed